Hello, uh, my name is Christopher, and you might remember me from... Okay, I didn't actually think of what to use for the running joke this time. It's not really a running joke, because we're only three videos in, but... You might remember me from an earlier video in the series. Oh, 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 oh. So this is just a little extra thing I wanted to talk us through. Um, it was something that my old youth pastor... Um, said to me back in youth group, it was a pretty nice thing, and it's a good conversation you can have with just about anyone. Um, frame it as, your life is now a TV show. Like, you've got a TV show based entirely on your life. And you get a bit of fun, think about it, like, um, what actors do you have in it? Uh, who plays you? Who plays your best friend? Uh, who plays your significant other if you have one? What genre is it? What sort of TV show is it? Is it like super serious? Is it a bit of a comedy? I personally would have mine like super serious, except I'm played by Fozzie Bear from The Muppets. I just think it would be really cool to have that. But then you find out that the script for this show based on your life isn't necessarily going to be a dramatized version. The script is your life and everything you've ever done. And then you've got to think... Is there anything that I really would rather not be broadcast internationally? Is there anything that you'd rather not have? Or are you like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy with everything. But you have to think about the fact that Jesus has seen your TV show. The unedited version. Before you got to get to the editing room and cut out the bits you didn't want. Jesus doesn't care what you've done. God doesn't care what you've done. God loves you for where your heart is at now. Not for what your past has been. So you don't have to be ashamed of your TV show. And I think that can sometimes be nice to know, especially at the moment when we're all like stuck in our own homes and have a lot of time to think about things that we haven't been doing or wish we hadn't been doing. And I think that's just good to know that it's okay to have had not the best past because God loves you anyway for you where you're at now. If, if Jesus can forgive a thief on the cross seconds from death, I think he can forgive you now.